This is a history lesson on the evolution of stepping as far as how it traveled out of the local into the national spotlight and scenario as far as what we see in transpiring today from where it came from. And we're talking before the R. Kelly video. Now, let me share some light on how this dance created interest in other cities and some of the cities that played an intricate role with their interest in stepping and how they established some of the relationships that you continue to see to this day as far as business, as far as friendships, as far as the stepping family and community and the camaraderie that exists between cities outside of Chicago. Now, we can look at it from a business point of view, or you can look at it from events like the White Party, or events like Step Aganza, or events like the Real Largest. So we can go back to Step is Compete, or we can go back to MSBU, we can go back to the Heritage Ball, we can go back to uh, the Steppers Ball. It's so many events that we can name as far as how this dance progressed outside of Chicago on the national platforms. Now, we're gonna hear many stories about that because what happens is we find individuals as well as groups sometimes that wanna take the credit for what happened as a community. Now that happens in the community as well as with other things and in other genres and in other art forms. People wanna get credit a lot of times for personal reasons or to apply it to a specific group when that not, might not necessarily be the true story or the full story. I'm only gonna give you the version that I know existed as we experienced it early in the progression of stepping going outside of Chicago prior to R. Kelly. It's best to do something to be right now, better late than never, yeah. Something.